Bob Bass, a hitman with a bad back, gives his latest victim the chance to live a little longer by digging his own grave deep in the woods. Big-hearted Bob takes pity on crooked accountant Sammy Smith, who's bent on outliving everyone so he can enjoy the loot he embezzled from Bob's boss. Dig Your Own Grave from 2013 displays many of the hallmarks of late 90s, early 2000s UK crime filmmaking. It has an experimental style, the dialogue is poetic in a most superfluous fashion, and the comedy is pitch black and aimless. What saves Dig Your Own Grave, however, is an all-round good cast and some impressive storytelling, turning the film into a great recession-era parable. The black and white cinematography is bold and your mileage may vary. However, the shots are well framed enough to make it work in my opinion. The biggest gripe I have with this film is that the majority of the characters are arseholes whose presence becomes grating in the long run. However, since the long run is 63 minutes in this case, that can be easily overseen. Dig Your Own Grave is short, sharp and inventive. All things considered, it's a hidden gem of direct-to-DVD UK crime filmmaking and I can easily recommend it to fans of UK crime cinema and British independent cinema in general. Revealing the events behind Kurt Cobain's death as seen through the eyes of Tom Grant, the private investigator hired by Courtney Love in 1994 to track down her missing husband only days before his deceased body was found at their Seattle home. Soaked in Bleach is a intriguing if slightly meandering docudrama on the death of Kurt Cobain that is still to this day shrouded in mystery. For a direct to DVD documentary I remember hearing nothing about back in the day, especially one about a subject as TMZ as this, I was surprised at how good the film looked, how well interviews were put together and how close to the facts it was. Though soaked in Bleach comes in with a predisposition on what happened back in 1994, it puts its case across rather well. The most insightful and interesting part of the whole documentary for me was how inept the investigation was by the Seattle Police Department into Cobain's death. They readily believed it to be a suicide based on tabloid news coverage alone, minus one forged missing persons form by Courtney Love, and if Soaked in Bleach is to be believed, conducted literally no investigation into the death and wrote it off as a suicide the same day they found the body. This fascinating insight and several more are what you will find in Soaked in Bleach, a remarkably decent examination of its subject and one that's well worth a watch for Nirvana fans and true crime fans alike. After a top secret lab is compromised and put into lockdown, a gang of raptors are inadvertently freed and let loose upon the city of Los Angeles. A group of soldiers are able to capture a small number of the prehistoric creatures, but they again escape upon arrival at a nearby maximum security prison, where it's up to the convicted residents and their guards to stop them. Jurassic City is the spiritual successor to Jurassic Park ripoffs from the 90s, such as Carnosaur, in that it finds another way to minimise screen time of the dinos, whilst relying on the talents of its cast to maintain suspense. Not that that happens in Jurassic City, but what we do get is a combination of cheap looking CGI dinosaurs, an intriguing prison environment and characters who are given just the right amount of a development to push this B-movie along at a comfy pace. It's a dumb dinosaur film to be sure, but it does have good production value, it does have endearing character types and it also has a fair number of kills. The whole film comes off as a combination of an asylum creature feature and assault on precinct 13. If you are actively looking for a modern day trashy dinosaur film then I could not think of anything more that you could ask of of a film such as Jurassic City, a perfectly serviceable B-movie and nothing more. Okay, in conclusion, Dig Your Own Grave is a good independent UK crime film that also serves well as a great recession era parable. Soaked in Bleach is a good docudrama on Kurt Cobain's death and raises some interesting questions that should rightly be answered. And Jurassic City is a serviceable Jurassic Park knockoff that has plenty of dino kills and B-movie charm. Goodbye.